We're learning about programming by building some simple Flutter games with the Flame game engine. This tutorial focuses on the horizontal infinite scrolling. People sometimes ask me about this. How do you get the image to go infinitely so that it appears that you know, this character, this crow can go on forever? Let's take a look at it. I'm using the Glacial Mountains Parallax background from itch.io. It's on the name your price, so you could try it out for free. And if you like it, then you could make a donation to the developer, but you don't have to make the donation. It's completely optional. So you can find your own background as well too, if you don't want to use Glacial Mountains. So I'm on itch.io, go to game assets. You probably want to select free you know, because you're probably just trying it out. And then here, there's a bunch of game assets and you probably want to select backgrounds here. And you can just kind of scroll through it and see which ones that you like. I just selected the Glacial Mountains, but there's a number of these that, and it says the word parallax sometimes. Uh, you, I think to follow this tutorial, you probably want to pick one that has a parallax background and I'm using this one. I'm using Flutter 3.3.10. So I'm going to create a brand new Flutter, Flutter project. Um, I'm just going to specify the Windows platform. This is optional and I'll call mine Crow Tutorial. So it's going to create a new Flutter project and you have the subdirectory. So I'm going to transfer into subdirectory. I'm going to make an assets folder. Then within the assets folder, I'm going to make a images and I'll make a audio folder. So it'll look like this. And I'm going to do code dot to start VS code here. In VS Code, I do have the Dart and Flutter extensions, right? So extension, the Flutter extension, and awesome Flutter snippets here. I guess this one's optional, but I'm using it. So let's go into the main dot, Dart here, and we're going to delete everything. So the sample Flutter code by default, it has this run app, which is from Flutter. And so we're gonna to need to pass it some type of widget here. We're gonna pass it a flame widget with the game engine that we're using. To use flame, I'm gonna actually specify the specific version of flame, which is 1.6 at this time. So open up a terminal here flutter pub add flame it's using flame 1.6 flame is updated pretty rapidly so you should probably use 1.6 and manually insert it here if it's a different version I deleted a test folder because we're not going to use it. Let's go back to main.dart. This, since I deleted the, the Flutter uh, stateless widget here, we're going to have to put a set of a Flutter widget. There's a Flutter widget that is from the Flame system. So this is from, uh, it's from the Flame package. And there was an auto import here on line one for the Flame game system. The game widget here requires a property for game. And so we need a flame game to pass it in. Let's just create one. Let's call it crow game. So this name is something I made up, right? It's because my character is a crow. Extends flame game. Flame game is a keyword from the flame game system. And now we have a game that we can instantiate. So go crow game. Okay, let's run it. 
we have a completely black screen, which is what we want here. I'm going to go back to the file that I unzipped this Glacier Mountains that I downloaded earlier from itch.io. There's already some predefined or pre-built uh, non-parallax backgrounds. So let's grab one of these backgrounds right here. Background Glacier Mountains. I'm going to move it into the asset slash images right there. Drag it, drop it in. And it's kind of long, so I'll just go background. So now I have a background image in here. I'm going to my pubspec.yaml. We have to make sure that the system can find the assets. And it should run flutter pub get automatically. Within the flame game system, there's a bunch of methods that's built in. We're going to override the onload method. The onload method is pretty common. So void onload. And we'll use async. I'll just run it from the super first. So we're going to need a parallax component, which is... So although there's different ways to set it up, we're using the parallax component that is built into the flame system. So let's call it mountain background and we will await game the load parallax component and it will require some type of data list for the parallax components. And we're going to Select one of the parallax data components, parallax, parallax data. And the data is the background PNG. Okay, so it's actually parallax image data here. Okay. And then we can add the, the mountain here. Okay. Set up a base velocity. And I'll go vector, vector two, 10, zero. The velocity multiplier is not needed right now, but I'm going to put it in for an additional component. In the and we just need to add the mountain back. Add is a keyword from flame. The mountain background is a parallax component that was created. And so there's just this syntax for the parallax component background.png is right there. Let's give it a shot. And now you have a infinite scrolling. Maybe we can speed it up here. So it's X and Y coordinate. So this one should be five times as fast and you can see that it's infinite scrolling. Although it is working perfectly, we probably want to have the different portions moving at different speeds. And so the parallax that we can move at different speeds across the screen. So next video will 
or change the speed of the, the various pieces so that it looks a little bit more realistic as the bird is flying across the screen.